Good morning, everyone. This is a mini training session for our workbooks customers, and we're going to cover in this event email templates and snippets. So, hello, my name is Tim Wilmot, and I'm joined on this event by my colleague Peter Johnson. And our company, Wizard Systems, we're a leading independent CRM solutions provider of CRM solutions like workbooks. We help organizations use simple solutions to help them improve their sales, marketing, and customer service productivity. So thanks for joining us today, uh, those listening live, uh, one of our regular series of short workbooks presentations. We've, uh, we haven't done one for a few months, so we'll try and get, get uh, back to regularly focusing on different topics in and around workbook CRM. And so on this one, we're going to cover email templates and snippets. Email templates are pre-written email messages that can be used in a number of different situations. They're designed to help you save time by providing a framework for quickly and easily composing an email. And they provide the structure for addressing a recipient, the subject line and other content, make it easier to, to craft your emails. They also allow for inclusion of standard text, disclaimers, contact information and so on. So it can really help you save time. And snippets, related to email templates. Snippets are short pieces of text, generally uh, rich text, such as phrases or sentences, regularly regularly used phrases or sentences that can be added to emails quickly and easily. And they often contain, again, it could be contact information, could be a marketing message promotion or um, a, a top, you know, a top regular text that you want to you want to commonly use in customer emails and by using snippets users again can save time and avoid the need to manually type over the type of that text in time and time again so this presentation will be about 10 minutes quarter of an hour or so in duration just an overview of uh, email templates there can be a lot more to it and my company with the system we do provide extensive training options on anything to do with with workbooks now the audio part of this presentation is one way only if you've got any questions, um, please type those into the question section on your meeting control panel, and we'll do our best to answer those at the end. Um, I think that's about it. So let me just to introduce ourselves to you. Um, I know most of you listening live are familiar with us, but we are independent CRM solutions providers. Uh, providing workbooks and other solutions. We've been doing this a long time and we provide any kind of service around workbooks, the product, implementation, customization, training as well. Um, you can be trained on uh, on workbooks at, at any kind of level of workbooks at our location or your location. We, do it, we can do it online as well, whichever, whichever format um, suits you best and also ongoing help desk support as well you're not alone in this we're here to help you with any query or question you've got about using workbooks so let me hand over to my colleague pete then um, to explain a little bit more about uh, email templates and snippets Okay. Um, good morning, Tim, and good morning to everyone. I'm just going to uh, show my screen here and go straight into. Can you hear me? Okay, Tim. Yeah, yeah that's look, looking good. If you can, everybody else can. I am assuming, and also see my screen. Um, so yeah, as Tim just described, um, uh, those templates and snippets and what they're used for. So I'm going to dive straight into uh, a workbooks uh, session. So what I've done here, I'm actually uh, looking at a, a case screen um, here. So I've I've opened up a, a little case, a support case. Uh, we, that's how we use uh, cases here at Wizard uh, Systems. Um, and this is uh, the uh, person raising the case with us is Tim here, and I've got some questions and so forth. So uh, what I'm going to do is use this case to demonstrate the use of both the templates and the snippets. Now, templates, as Tim uh, suggested, they are pre-built emails, if you like, uh, that you can edit before you send. But uh, very often there's a there's a common uh, type of email that you would send out. Uh, and in this example, you can see here 
I, I've got a case. Now, there's a couple of different methods in which you can send uh, an email uh, via a record. Uh, and this could be any record, of course, people, organizations, cases, opportunities, and so forth, uh, quotes even. Um, now, if I go to this uh, drop down menu at the top that says email, you can see here I've got a selection of templates that I've already got, or I've got a blank email with just my signature on. If I choose the signature one here, um, and uh, on this uh, email, you can see it's a blank email. Now, had I have chosen one of those other options, it would have pre-built this template. But another method for uh, entering a template into the text here is from this sidebar that's available in your emails. This can be hidden, so if it is hidden, if I just hide that, you might get this blue bar at the uh, right-hand side here, which if I expand, you can see I've got this uh, area of templates. Now, uh, for this particular case, I might just want to respond um, and put some uh, text in it, but it would be nice to uh, reference the information that's already in my case here, which is something that we can do in a template. So I'm going to expand my templates here <coughs> and choose uh, this one that says response. And when I choose that, uh, you can see here it pre-fills uh, all of the text that I need. So, uh, dear Tim, uh, this is in response to your question uh, comments. I might want to type some uh, text uh, here um, to respond to him and so forth, and then uh, hit send. And you can see it's pre-built uh, with information that's quite useful uh, to have in the system. So. Uh, very easy to use a template either from the menu on the record in the background from that drop down or you can apply a template after the fact uh, by choosing this little area over on the right hand side. I guess whilst we're here we might as well see uh, how uh, a, a snippet is used because I might put some text in here that I've already prepared in the past and something that I regularly say uh, in um, in a response. So you can see here, I've also got this area over here on the right called snippets. And I've got uh, these into uh, categories. So I've just uh, split them up a little bit here. Um, but you can see, in fact, this uh, question from Tim is about um, where's. And I've got uh, information here, uh, this paragraph uh, here, and I've entitled it where's. So what I can do is I can place my cursor in the email where I want this text to appear. Um, not affecting the template at all, but if I choose this where's option, you can see here it's pre-filled some text already uh, performed uh, and put together so that it's in here and I've got links and all sorts of things uh, for an explanation. Um, and you can use more than one snippet here. Um, so if I type some text in here uh, before you start, please. Ask IT to do some work. And you can see over here on the right hand side, I've got another snippet for instructions for the IT team. And I can just place that text in and it's added this small amount of text, whereas before I had quite a large amount. So you can see these snippets are really easy to add to an email. And of course, when this sends, it sends all of that detail across. So a really quick view at uh, looking at how to use these templates. In a moment, I'm going to show you how to create them. But just as a quick recap, you can do the template from the main button there and choose the drop down. Or you can choose from this side panel, the templates and also these snippets. To add either of these to the system so that you can use these, a couple of different ways of doing it. You can, from an email here, use these little uh, manage arrows up here at the side. So if I choose this, I can go and um, see my templates and add new ones. If I go to the snippets, exactly the same with snippets here in the same way and choose new snippets. So it takes you to the landing page. The alternative to that, if I just um, I'm going to discard sending that email, if I go to the start menu here, and we go to emails. You can see here I can go to email templates or snippets. 
let's let's just create uh, an email template first so if i go into email templates here are the templates that i already have in place um, and you can see there's that response one that we just saw a few moments ago um, and if i choose now over on the left here new email template a couple of options here uh, i've got for a specific uh, template a, a specific type of record i should say um, or uh, a simple template with just some text in the real difference you do get an explanation to the side here but the real difference between these is that they only show this top one would only show on that record type so when you go to a person record you don't want to see those templates that are available at a case level and, and, and vice versa um, this simple template is a template that would appear wherever you are in the system you can have just this block of text um, so if I choose a, a record specific template and here I get a choice of which type of record I'm uh, making this available from uh, and in this case I'm going to choose cases again and here now I do have some pre-built templates that they offer you so you can choose one of these and customize them a little bit if I go up to here and say new blank template here is my template creation screen so if i put tips and tricks yeah and down that's what i'm calling the template if you like i've named it so it appears in that list the subject line i'm actually going to make the same label put this on the end of there so. and then in the body text here um you can see i can just type and create my template the uh, now you saw that when I used the template, it said Dear Tim. So in that example, I want to be Dear and first name. So down here, you can add some field information um, of who uh, details from records. In this example, who's going to get it. So from the recipient here. Um, so this is all of the fields from a person record, actually. So I've got first name. And you can see it puts this merge field in here so it'll automatically generate and create the uh, tim in the example that i did uh, here are some tips now once you've uh, created this um, i also want to include my signature on here can you see this little tick box so whoever's using this template it will put their signature underneath at the bottom of the email but once you've done this uh, and you're ready to use it you could save it, um, but it's not yet activated. It won't appear. Uh, for it to appear in the menu, you must activate uh, the template. This is quite good for certain templates that you only want active at certain times, you know, perhaps um, for a set period and you want to deactivate them and then make them appear again, you know, Christmas messages or seasonal things that typically uh, done in that way. And you can just uh, deactivate it rather than delete it and have to recreate it so in this example I'm going to activate it it's now in my list here um, tips and tricks now if I go back to that uh, case that I have opened a, a few moments ago um, here uh, it's now available in here um, as tips and tricks or should be um, I'm processing to saved it completely yet um yeah so uh, creation of templates uh, really quick and easy to do the other option here is the snippets and of course those uh, should be available in a similar place and if i close here and go to start emails and snippets rather than email templates i'm going to go in here and choose to generate or create a new snippet and in here i'm going to give the snippet a name um, update info So you can see I've just typed a bit of text in here and you can see you can copy paste and all sorts of things into there. But I've just generated a small amount of text 
that I want to use as a snippet and called the snippet update info at workbooks. And again, I'm going to choose activate so that it becomes available in my snippets area. So really quick and easy to create those as, as well as the time saving uh, that it is uh, when you've used them. Okay. So I think uh, that pretty much shows it in its entirety, actually. Um, so, Tim, got anything to add there? No, I, I think uh, we, we can see that these two related features of workbooks, email templates and snippets, can really help you save time. Uh, they, they're going to increase your uh, the user's productivity. It's going to ensure that all the relevant information is included on that particular type of communication, you know, whether it's a marketing thing, service thing, making sure everything is included in that communication. It's also got that consistent look and feel. So by making it easy, easier for users to use, they're more inclined to use it from their workbook CRM application and making sure that you've got that you've got that consistent company branding and fonts and and uh, um the any disclaimers and and so on so just making sure you've got that 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 same look and feel from all users and also by using it within workbook crm hopefully it's going to encourage and make sure that all relevant customer communications is tracked is recorded in your in your crm so a really good feature to use um hopefully you are using it if you're not using it you should you should be using it it's going to help you really save time making sure um everyone is using the same kind of terminology um and and text for for your common emails so as we normally do on our sessions if you've got any questions around this feature or indeed any other workbooks um, questions, please pop those into the question section. Hopefully you can see that little section on your control panel on your screen. Uh, I think there's only one question we've got so far, Pete, from Laura and uh, asking, how do I let other users see my snippets? Pretty good question. Oh, okay, yeah, good question. Uh, this is the same throughout uh, workbooks to um, share anything that you've got, landing pages, templates, snippets, uh, all in the same uh, method. So I'm going to go back to that snippet that I created earlier. So if we go into snippets, you can see it appears in my snippets, and that's because I created it and I am the owner of that particular uh, snippet. But anything that you wanted to uh, uh, have available for everybody else, of course, they can go and create their own, which would show in their My Snippets area. But if I go into My Snippets and choose this sharing button in the normal workbooks way, um, you can see here I could uh, add a rule, um, which I could add it. Um, so I could share it with a specific user or user group. Uh, in this example, I want everybody to see it. So I'm going to add it to the everyone group. Um, you can see here I've only given them the read access, so they can't modify it or change it. I'm quite happy that, that, that only I'm doing that. And then save and close. And then it now will appear in everybody's snippets area, uh, including that of mine. Yeah. yeah, so pretty extensive options there for controlling who can or can't see um, your snippets. Uh, well, I think that is... That's all the questions, Pete, we've got. So okay. let's um, wrap this up by thanking those of you listening live. Thanks very much uh, for spending a few minutes today uh, for going through the, the, these features of workbooks. If you want any more information on workbooks, of course, you know our details. Um, there's a website, wizard-systems.co.uk. Our contact details, Tim Wilmot, Peter Johnson. If you've got any suggestions for future workbooks mini mini training sessions then please drop us a line we'd be happy to consider that and share that with the workbooks community out there but thanks very much for your support of workbooks and wizard systems i do appreciate it and we'll speak to you on the next event thanks very much bye bye thanks everyone bye